Did you know the C in Canva stands for collaboration? <laughs> Not really, but it is an incredibly powerful tool for working with your team or your suppliers or even your clients. From docs to presentations, you can edit collaboratively at the same time. So it feels like you're side by side, even if you're on the other side of the world. Canva AI just makes that even better. Summarizing, sorting, making sure your workshops actually work. In this video, I'll guide you through a workflow for hosting interactive and engaging meetings, brainstorms, and project kickoffs. To kick off a project on the right note, the first workshop needs to be a positive, energetic environment. Like when everyone's feeling comfortable to contribute, then the ideas start flowing. Great. So how do we get that started then? This big white box is your gateway to, well, anything really. I'm gonna use it to come up with a plan. Canva AI is conversational, so I don't need to be too careful with my prompting. Just get your idea in here and I'll add how long the meeting is so it can give me timings. Okay, this is a great start. I'm feeling a little bit more confident about the workshop already. Let's ask her to go ahead and put this into a presentation. Now, I've got a few different styles to choose from. I'm gonna select one I like, and then I can go through and change the basics. And when you're ready, choose this to open the presentation in Canva Editor. Now, I'm using brand kit so I can make it a little bit more on brand with the correct fonts and the correct colors. Hit the apply to all pages just to ensure it's consistent throughout. In no time at all, I've got a plan and a presentation. Now that I've got all the basics, how can I make the workshop itself engaging and interactive? Successful workshops are ones where everyone feels engaged, comfortable to contribute and actively involved. So we need to make sure there's stuff to do. I'm gonna add a whiteboard directly into the same document. Yeah, with Visual Suite 2.0, your entire workflows in one place. Whether your project starts as a doc or evolves into a presentation or works best as a website, everything you need is right here. To begin, I'll add a new whiteboard page type and rearrange it into the presentation. Now, the first thing you're gonna notice is this whiteboard is infinite, meaning you'll never run out of space. Move around the board by clicking and dragging or zoom in and out here. I really want people to work on the problem statement first. You know, the idea that, you know, the solution is impossible without really understanding the problem. So I'll choose a template from the design tab. Now you could create this with elements, but since I don't have a defined vision of what I want to bring to life, I'm going to use templates to create a structure for me. This one will work. Let's use magic right to change this so our purpose is clear. Oh, that's good, but long. Okay, let's make it shorter. Perfect. After the team has defined a problem, we'll conduct research on competitors and we'll seek inspiration from other events. Let's find another template. This one will work. It comes with a list of tips for using whiteboards. I'm gonna make a few tweaks and customize this list for my team. That's better. Okay, I'm gonna move that to the start. I need some target market research as well, so I can identify who we're talking to. Ah, I'm running out of space. Let me zoom out. Now I can continue working. Infinite space. You can see I'm creating a journey for the team to work through. We're gonna start over here, and then we're gonna end up over here. Okay. Oh, I should probably include a racy matrix so we know who's doing what. We've got the problem, the competitors, the audience, and even a racy. Now all we need is the team. Let's invite them in. Open the share menu, add emails, or well, actually we could allow team access with editing rights. Once they've accepted the invite, everyone can jump into the document. We can all start jamming together. Canva offers a whole bunch of tools that support the meeting experience, such as polls or timers. Let's set a timer for one minute. That'll keep everyone focused. I love this because people can leave comments or reactions on their teammates' ideas. Before we move on, I do a quick sort of those ideas that receive the most love. And maybe we can spend a few minutes discussing them in more detail. And that's how you transform meetings. We're not just sharing information, we're sharing a digital space where everyone can collaborate and engage with the project. When you're working together in real time, big ideas can grow. Take my word for it, it's how we run most of our meetings at Canva. 
as a facilitator, you may want a tool that you can't see in Canva. So let's make it. Say your team's on the larger side. So you need some breakout rooms. We can make that happen in Canva code. Starting on Canva AI in the search box, I'll select code for me and enter my prompt. The more specific the prompt, the better the initial results. But no need to overthink it. Just speak naturally and say what you need. Remember, you can always tweak it later. Okay, I think that covers it. Now, Canva code will take care of the rest. I love this bit. It always feels like being in the future. No need to know the code, just watch it come to life. Right, I'm gonna paste in this list of names. Great, it's a bit dry though. I'll add that I wanted to give each team an inspiring name. This is gonna make it feel a little bit more on brand and more fun while still feeling professional. That looks nicer. Okay, let's test it again. Oh wow, that's great. It's even told me what the names mean. Okay, this is ready to use in the workshop. Choose to use in a design and then copy and paste it into your whiteboard. Adjust the size with the corner handles and you can crop it with the side handles. Double click to use it. Drop in your names, choose group size and then randomize. Great, that's perfect. The team's gonna love it. No time wasted. Everyone can just jump into their teams and off we go. That's one example how you can use Canva code to improve your workshops. Live polling, Q&A voting, countdown timers. Oh, what about gamified widgets? Like turning the whole workshop into a competition. It's really up to you and your team's imaginations. As you can see, it's really easy. It takes no time at all. Anyone could be suggesting things to improve the next brainstorm. And that's next level collaboration with a capital C.